learning is fun. But please right away, press subscribe button before the lectures begin. Human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is a hormone produced by the body during pregnancy. It supports fetal growth. Doctors test HCG levels in the urine and blood to confirm pregnancy. They also use HCG blood tests to help determine if a person could be experiencing an ectopic pregnancy or miscarriage. Pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, and miscarriage will never be diagnosed based on one HCG level alone, but it's helpful to know how these levels work in such cases. If you think you're pregnant, a doctor will test blood drawn from a vein to check your HCG levels. If you don't have any HCG present in your blood, this doesn't necessarily mean you aren't pregnant. You may be too early in your pregnancy for your HCG levels to increase. HCG levels higher than 5 million international units per milliliter UML, typically indicate pregnancy. Your first test result is considered a baseline level. This level can range from very small amounts of HCG, such as 20 mUML or even lower, to larger amounts, such as 2,500 mUML. The baseline level is important because of a concept doctors call doubling time. In the first four weeks of a viable pregnancy, HCG levels will typically double about every two to three days. After six weeks, the levels will double about every 96 hours. So, if your baseline level is higher than 5 mUML, your doctor may order you repeat the test a couple of days later to see if the number doubles. In the absence of certain risks, one additional level may be enough to determine pregnancy. In many cases, your doctor will then recommend you have an ultrasound sometime between 8 and 12 weeks as part of first trimester pregnancy care. If you're at risk for miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, you're more likely to have HCG levels that don't double. They may even decrease. Therefore, your doctor may ask you to return to their office two to three days after your baseline blood test to see if your level has doubled appropriately. If your HCG levels don't come close to doubling after 48 to 72 hours, your doctor may have concerns that the pregnancy is at risk. Medically, this may be called a possible non-viable pregnancy. If your levels are dropping or rising too slowly, you'll probably be sent for other testing as well. This could include progesterone blood tests and a transvaginal ultrasound to check your uterus for a gestational sac. Other symptoms, such as bleeding or cramping, will also be taken into account. Missed abortion is when a pregnancy stops developing, where the embryo-fetus embryonic tissue or empty gestation sac remains in the uterus and the cervical os is close. In the event of a miscarriage, HCG levels typically decrease from previous measurements. For example, a baseline level of 120 mUML that's dropped to 80 mUML two days later can indicate the embryo is no longer developing and the body isn't producing more hormones to support its growth. Likewise, levels that aren't doubling and are only rising very slowly for example, from 120 mUML to 130 mUML over a period of two days, can indicate a non-viable uterine pregnancy in which a miscarriage may take place soon. Levels that are slow to rise can also indicate a non-uterine pregnancy, which happens when the fertilized egg implant somewhere outside the uterus, usually the fallopian tubes. Because an ectopic pregnancy can be a medical emergency, it's important a doctor identify this as quickly as possible. On the other hand, it's also possible to have doubling HCG levels with an ectopic pregnancy. This is why HCG levels alone aren't enough to determine what's going on with 100% accuracy. HCG appears in the blood and urine of pregnant women as early as 10 days after conception. This test is also done to diagnose abnormal conditions not related to pregnancy that can raise HCG level. Results are given in milli international units per milliliter, mui ml. Normal levels are found in non-pregnant women less than 5 mu mililithi men. Less than 2 mu mil in pregnancy, HCG level rises rapidly during the first trimester and then declines slightly. The expected HCG ranges in pregnant women are based on the length of the pregnancy. 3 weeks. 5 to 50 mu ml. 4 weeks. 
5 to 426 mu ml. 6 weeks. 1080 to 56,500 mu ml. 7 to 8 weeks. 7650 to 229,000 mu ml. 9 to 12 weeks. 25,700 to 288,000 mu ml. 13 to 16 weeks. 13,300 to 254,000 mu ml. 17 to 24 weeks. 4060 to 165,400 mu ml. 25 to 40 weeks. 3640 to 117,000 mu ml. Non gravid. 55 to 200 ng per milliliter. Normal value ranges may vary slightly among different laboratories. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Dedicated to my viewer.